be the fourth brother to come through is, it's awesome. It really is. It's it's good. I can, I guess, be the last one of the legacy. Um, there's no more of us left, so it's, this is it. It's four, four go arounds. My family is just super soccer-oriented family. My father is a, he's an immigrant from Italy. He came over here when he was 13 years old. My mother is born here in America. They met, had my older brothers who are twins. And they also attended here, played soccer here. Growing up in a, in a household of four boys, my father make it five and then my mom I kind of felt bad for my mom she dealt with a lot of stuff that I definitely respect now that i'm older and <laughs> realize what she had to go through yeah it's good to have a family you know that we can connect in that way we all have something in common we always regardless you know we can watch a soccer game we can talk about soccer so it's it's definitely a common bond and a common love that has brought us closer for sure We've gotten to see, you know, when, when Mark and Dominic came uh, to the program, obviously the younger brothers come along and there was Hunter and then little Giuseppe, um, who I think we've seen since he was like 10. So that was pretty cool just to even see Giuseppe's kind of growth and kind of hanging around the program. So once I was here uh, at Michigan State, I didn't really feel any pressure as a fourth brother because I knew that those guys, especially Hunter, who's one grade above me, was here and uh, he definitely made the transition easier. And I didn't realize it, and I I, went, I don't want to say take it for granted, but I, I didn't realize how cool it was until he, last year, it was the first year he wasn't around. And I was thinking to myself, you know, wow, like what we were doing for three years and especially the success we had as a program was, it's, it's special to do that with one of your family members for sure. Giuseppe is a very cerebral player. He he's he thinks the game faster than everybody else. I, I, I've always compared him to Cassius to a lot of Spartan fans because they're very similar. They're not the biggest, they're not the fastest, they're not the strongest, but they're the most skillful and they see the game quicker. He was one of the top midfielders in the country. He was the Big Ten midfielder of the year. So I think a lot of people were looking at him and there was certainly a good buzz about him and, and scouts were asking questions. And then unfortunately, you know, with the injury last year, that kind of table things. Giuseppe Baroni, slow to rise to his feet. So last year in a preseason game, I tweaked my groin a bit, and uh, yeah, I, I figured it'd be go away in you know two, three weeks, maybe a month, and. It just, it, the pain wouldn't go away. I had some constant like aching at night and stuff like that. And I knew it was just kind of a weird deal. It just it wasn't a regular kind of injury. Figured out I had uh, a tear in my, my hip labrum. You know, some players are back in seven months from the injury. Some players are back nine a year. It's, it kind of varies. It's, it's, it's a weird thing. And um, so I knew what I was getting myself into. I knew it would be a process. Yeah, it was tough. The worst part was sitting on the sideline, you know, knowing you can't really do much about it or help your teammates. You know, you can be there talking to teammates off the field, but it's it's not the same. You know, as being on the field, playing, trying to be a leader, trying to be vocal. It's just not the same. So it, it was difficult for me, for sure. He's a professional. You know, it stinks. I think, like anything else, you have some emotions that go through it, but just really kind of stayed focused. He was really professional in his rehab, as far as how he. He treated his body, um, you know, doing all the proper things. So, like I said, he was a, a consummate professional, I think, in this, and that's what you got to give him a lot of credit. And I think, you know, that'll bode him well at the next level. It taught me a lot. Now that I'm at the back end of it, I, I'm almost thankful for it because it taught me real hard work was what a lot of patience. I learned that thing, you know, like soccer, the stuff. It, Everything has a time limit. You only know, you don't know how long you have with certain things, certain people, so you have to be grateful. Nice slide tackle in the midfield by a back checking Giuseppe Baroni. I think one thing that made me come back uh, for another season at Michigan State is uh, definitely to finish up my degree, which I am uh, close to doing, which I'm pretty proud of. Well, I think there is, 
there's some options to, to, to play professionally, certainly. I don't know if it was an option that made the most sense for him. Um, obviously, when he made those decisions, this was before COVID and, and thinking that we definitely have a, a full season in the fall. And I think he thought he could really kind of showcase himself to the entire MLS league. Another thing is a very bitter, like a very sour taste in, in the team's mouth after last year. I mean, you can tell now with the trainings, Guys are working a lot harder. There's new guys that are coming in, being pushed harder, and there's just it's a different mindset now. We, we're not having a fall season right now, but I think just having Giuseppe around the guys, the young freshmen, the way he leads, the way he handles himself as a soccer player, he's already a pro in that regard. His mentality, how he walks on the field, how he handles drills, how he performs, how he talks to players. So just his presence, I think, coming back has been a huge positive. I want my my family's legacy not only to be remembered by me or wins, losses, stuff like that. It's I'd rather people look at how much me, my brother Hunter, Dominic, Mark, all cared about the program, putting in hard work, and how much we loved our teammates playing here at DeMartin. And that's what I think I, I want the legacy to be remembered as. So in 2008, the Baroni twins were, were freshmen, you know, we won a Big Ten title then, and over the last 12 years, we've had some, some very good success, and those guys have all been a piece of it. I'd like to just thank Damon, thank the coaching staff, everyone that's been involved in my experience here. I think there was times when I was younger that you don't, you don't necessarily um, understand how special, a, you know, a group of people, your team, a university can be and I think that my four extended years here have been awesome and I just can't thank people enough for, for my experience here. <laughs>